In the video lesson, an introduction to the boundary element method through the two-dimensional Laplace's equation, we derive a boundary integral solution for the two-dimensional Laplace's equation, and use constant boundary elements to discretize the integral equation. Here is the boundary integral solution for the two-dimensional Laplace's equation. Recall that capital Phi is the fundamental solution of the two-dimensional Laplace's equation, and Phi is the solution of the boundary value problem under consideration. To approximate the boundary integral, the boundary, C, is discretized into, N, straight line elements denoted by C1, C2, and so on, until Cn. Over each element, we approximate, phi, and its normal derivative, del phi over del n, by using constant functions. More specifically, we make the approximations, phi, equals approximately, phi k, and del phi over del n, equals approximately, p k, for point x y, on the straight line element c k. phi k, and, p k r, respectively, the values of phi, and del phi over del n, at the midpoint of the element c k. Here is the discretized boundary integral solution. Analytical formulas for evaluating the integrals over the element, CK, are given in the book, A Beginner's Course in Boundary Element Methods. We collocate the discretized boundary integral solution, at the midpoint of the element, CM, to obtain a system of linear algebraic equations. In this video lesson, we show how the approximation in the boundary integral solution, for the two-dimensional Laplace's equation, can be improved by using discontinuous linear boundary elements. As before, the boundary, C, is discretized into, N, straight line elements denoted by C1, C2, and so on until Cn. The integral over the boundary, C, in the boundary integral solution, is then written as, the sum of integrals over all the straight line elements. Consider the k element, ck. The length of ck is denoted by, lk. The endpoints of the element, ck, are given by, xk, yk, and, xk plus 1, yk plus 1. For the discontinuous linear element approximations, we take the point, xi k, eta k, on ck. The point, xi k, eta k, is at a distance of tau, times, lk, from the endpoint, xk, yk, tau is a selected fraction between 0 and half. We take another point, psi n plus k, eta n plus k, on ck. The point, psi n plus k, eta n plus k, is at a distance of, tau, times, lk, from the other endpoint, xk plus 1, yk plus 1. We define, phi k, and, p k, to be the values of, phi, and, del phi over del n, respectively, at the point, 
Xi K, eta K. Also, phi N plus K, and, P N plus K, are the values of, phi, and, del phi over del N, respectively, at the point, Xi N plus K, eta N plus K. The function, S X Y, gives the distance between the endpoint, X K, Y K, and the general point, X Y, on the element, C K. Over the element, C K, we approximate, phi, and, del phi over del n by using linear functions of the distance, s, that is, by using functions of the form, fxy, equals, m, times, sxy, plus c, where m and c are constants. The constants, m, and c, are determined by using values of, phi, and, del phi over del n, at the points, xi k, eta k, and, xi n plus k, eta n plus k. Here are the approximations for phi, and, del phi over del n, for point, x y on c k. In these approximations, we assume that, phi, and, del phi over del n, vary continuously over the element, c k. However, the approximations allow for the possibility that, phi, and, del phi over del n, may not be continuous from one element to another. As phi, and, del phi over del n, vary linearly with the distance along an element, and are not forced to be continuous from one element to another, we describe such approximations by using the term, discontinuous linear boundary element approximations. Here is the discretized boundary integral solution for the two-dimensional Laplace's equation. This discretized boundary integral solution is obtained from the discontinuous linear boundary element approximations. The integrals over the straight line element, CK, can be evaluated analytically by using formulas given in the book, A Beginner's Course in Boundary Element Methods. If the values of phi and del phi over del n, at the points, xi k, eta k, and xi n plus k, eta n plus k, for k, equals, 1, 2, and so on until n, are known, we can use the discretized boundary integral solution to evaluate phi at any general point, xi eta. If we collocate the discretized boundary integral solution at the points, xi p, eta p, and, xi n plus p, eta n plus p, for p, equals, 1, 2, and so on, until, n, we obtain 2n linear algebraic equations. These linear algebraic equations can be used to solve approximately the boundary value problem for the two-dimensional Laplace's equation, in the region, R, bounded by a simple closed curve C. If either phi or del phi over del n is known over each of the boundary elements, the linear algebraic equations contain two n unknowns. The programming of these linear algebraic equations for solving the boundary value problem is detailed in the book. A Beginner's Course in Boundary Element Methods Each discontinuous linear element contains two collocation points. 
the distance between a collocation point and the nearest endpoint of the element is given by tau l, where tau is a number between 0 and half, and l is the length of the element. The accuracy of the discontinuous linear boundary element method for solving boundary value problems may vary with the parameter tau. The value of tau giving optimal results may vary from one boundary value problem to another. In the book, A Beginner's Course in Boundary Element Methods, some specific boundary value problems are solved using the discontinuous linear boundary element method, with tau equals one quarter. The numerical results obtained show that the overall accuracy of the discontinuous linear elements is better than that of the constant elements, for the same number of either, boundary elements, or unknowns on the boundary. The book also reports that further numerical investigations suggest that the value of tau for optimal results is likely to be somewhere between 0.15 and 0.30. If very few elements are used, the accuracy of the numerical solution deteriorates rapidly as tau approaches zero. However, if the discretization of the boundary is sufficiently refined, the numerical solutions from the discontinuous linear elements are found to be superior to those from the constant elements, even if tau is close to zero. In a research paper by some other investigator working on a different partial differential equation, the optimal value of tau is reported to be highly likely to be between 0.10 and 0.30. In general, for the discontinuous linear boundary elements to give good accuracy to numerical solutions of boundary value problems, we may give, tau, any value between 0.20 and 